Now, heat, humidity, and sweat, they all go together. They sure do, <laughs> but why does our body sweat anyway? Meteorologist Ricky Matthews joins us a little with a little explainer. With the heat and humidity over the next couple of days, many of us will be sweating. So let's talk about why our bodies sweat, why our bodies do this at all. It's all to try to cool off a little bit. Our bodies like to stay around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, but when that sun comes in, the temperature goes up, it heats up the air, our bodies have to try to keep themselves at that 98.6. So when our body temperature rises, sweat is released from our skin. That sweat is our body's natural way of trying to cool off through a process known as evaporative cooling. The water from the sweat evaporates, and as a result, it draws heat out of the body through a process known as evaporative cooling, all in an effort to lower the body temperature. The problem is, on hot and humid days, your body is not able to release that heat as efficiently because that sweat fails to evaporate from your skin. As a result, you feel warmer and your skin feels a little bit sticky and just no one loves that. So the heat and humidity this weekend will certainly combine to cause some issues with that. Let's take a close look at these humidity values as we head into the weekend. And you'll notice they're climbing into the high category, these tropical and muggy categories as we go through the uh, weekend and even into next week, Monday, Tuesday, that humidity forecast stays into the muggy category. For Friday, it wasn't too bad. It was down in the humid category, but for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, it will be elevated, which makes it feel even hotter. Heat index values for Saturday look like this. will be around 100 degrees for a heat index value in the afternoon, and then Sunday, everywhere is just roasting with heat index values around 105 during the afternoon hours. Stay cool in all of this heat.